All right, so people have uh, expressed interest in how we make the big bubbles, so I'm just gonna walk you through it. It's, it's really simple if you just follow this recipe. Hey, Bubble, uh, we're making a batch. Do you wanna watch? Uh, Do you wanna watch? Also making a video. Yeah, we're making a video of how we Daddy, make the giant yeah, bubble mix. Can you um, yes. open this up? Yes. Okay. There we go. Let me take the lid. So the secret ingredient is guar gum. You can get this at a uh, bulk store, health food store. Some recipes will say that you can substitute xanthan gum. Don't do it. Call around or order and make sure that you get guar gum. The xanthan gum makes brittle bubbles and the guar gum makes nice elastic self-healing bubbles. So uh, we're gonna make two liters of juice and for that we want one heaping tea, a quarter teaspoon of guar gum. Just put that in our in our bottle here. And that goes in as a powder and which does not dissolve well in water. So we add just a splash of rubbing alcohol, just enough to cover it. We don't have to measure that amount. We just agitate it until it's made a kind of slurry in there. There are no visible uh, powder or lumps. And then we add uh, just a pot tap water. So this, I like to run it kind of hard so that it agitates a little more and the guar gum gets sort of worked in. We have one liter and then for one liter, well for our, for our two, we're gonna do a two liter mix total. And for that quantity of water, uh, that quantity of water, we do uh, 50 grams of just regular dish soap. Some recipes claim that the type is really important. In my experience, uh, it doesn't seem to be super important, but we have had good experience with Dawn and that's what we use. What it's we also use. our daughter's name. It's true. So it's a sentimental favorite as well. So we just measure out 50 grams and pour it. We don't want to, we don't want this to foam up. So we pour it with some care into the bucket, almost like pouring a pint. And then for the second liter, I, I'll use the same thing again so we can wash, uh, make sure that we get a little bit more of that liquid, that detergent. Now, uh, secret ingredient number two is baking powder. So for that, we're gonna do two of this same quantity, one quarter teaspoon. So, and slightly heaping. So we do one, two. This helps adjust the pH of the solution, which apparently is important. Now, because there's soap in here, I'll run it a little bit less vigorously. It is gonna foam up at least a little bit, but it, it, it's not a big problem. Can we remove that green towel? Hmm? No, on the faucet. <laughs> Done. Okay. So now again, we pour this out with some care. So because of the baking powder and the guar gum, the mix will be a little bit cloudy or milky. And depending on if you've used a colored dish soap, then you'll see some of the color from that dish soap as well. But that's it. We're ready to go. Let's see how this performs. <coughs> Hello, <Dong. coughs> some bubble? Yeah, I'm
bubble. Yeah, you want to see bubble? Yeah. Okay, let's do bubble. Do you want big bubble? Mm. Well, let's hope for the best. Yeah, open. Open and close, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, dog knows. So, you hold it up. Open. And we close. Look. You were talking about this rig. Yeah, so the it's probably pretty obvious. It's just some string between two long rods. Hold it up. Admit some air. Open and close. <gasps> Don, that's my cell phone. Thank you.